Let's go. Let's go. Brandon, congratulations on the victory. It was a great performance. Thank you. I'm curious how you would uh, analyze yourself this, this evening. How do you think you did? Uh, how I analyze myself? It's crazy, man. Um, I mean, I feel very happy with my performance tonight. Um, I, th I think... Uh, to me, it was very clear I was a, a, better, uh, a better fighter, a more complete fighter, like talking about the striking, the, the wrestling, the jiu-jitsu, right, the control around, on the ground. <sighs> Man, I, I can show that in my last fight against him in Anaheim. Uh, so, I mean, my, my main focus for this one was, like, control my emotions, be very focused, be close to my game plan. I did it, and that's why I feel very, very good with my performance. Is it nice? Obviously, you've had to fight this guy so many times. Is it nice to have a performance like this where you can truly say, like, look, I've gone out and I've proved I'm better than him for once, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of people ask, ask me a bit, uh, about that. Like, hey, what, what can you change after three fights with the same guy? And, man, so, the, and I say this before, like, the only thing I can change is, like, be more, uh, I mean, have more experience about this, about this situation. Like, use all my, my new tools, all, all, all the, the new things I've been working with, with my coaches. I, I did it like that, and I knew it. I, I knew it if I can, bury, I can keep my plan uh, going around the octagon, you know, in the middle of the fight. I mean, the, I can do an, a performance like, like, like tonight. I know the coaching change wasn't ideal, but how good was Coach Safe in your corner tonight and how much of an impact did he have? Man, I mean, he kept my, my mind on point. Like, keep my mind like very focused, very disciplined. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to, to watch him on the corner. Obviously, I mean, everybody, everybody knows right now the, the thing with James. I love him. And hopefully, like, everything can be, like, very clear in the future in, the, in that aspect. But, I mean, I'm so happy with, with Saif. And, I mean, he said he don't want, like, like, any credit. But, man, thank you so much for this man. He sacrificed a lot because I, I think I wasn't ready to do another change because I was in Kansas, then every, all that, the bad thing happened. I, I came back to Vegas and I, I wasn't ready to do another change. So he decided to come with me every single, every single like weekend or even before, like more days than, than a weekend uh, to start uh, to work. So I really appreciate it. So maybe uh, in the next one, I need to go to, to Dallas now. Nice. With the, the punch that started the finish, right? He grabbed his eye and suggesting it was an eye poke. To me, it looked like a punch. Did you think, I've definitely got him and he's faking or that I've heard him? How did you feel when he saw his reaction? Man, uh, uh, and I think that's why the people was like very angry at the end, maybe. But, uh, so I saw the replay actually. The, the guy, he, he kicked me, I passed the leg and I throw the, the, the hook. The hook was clear, man, yeah. was clear clear right in his uh, right uh, eye. Uh, and then maybe that's why the, the people's a little com confused because I push his hand with my, uh, his face with my hand. But I mean, my, my hand was like in this position, wasn't here. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that's why the people was a little bit mad with me. But what can I say, man? I mean. They were mad with you, but it also seemed like you kind of enjoyed running <laughs> out with them throwing stuff at you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's funny? You're, <laughs> I, 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 even I wasn't expecting that. I, I think at the end the people will be very happy with my performance. But I don't know. I just, I was just trying to enjoy the moment. It was crazy how all the bodyguards was around me. They like pushing me. I throw the bell to the floor. Like oh, they have no, no, leave it there. And I start to run again. I went to with, with my training partner at the end. So I it was funny. <laughs> Thank you. First question, uh, how many tequilas have you had already since the fight? Tequilas? Yeah. Any? I don't have tequila yet. Where is Cuervo? Where is, I need Jose Cuervo right now. To fix that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, we heard people saying that there was some kind of uh, talk and altercation with Pantoja after the fight backstage. Uh, as I saw a video of you guys hugging each other, how was this uh, got with him? So, yeah, he, he came with me and he was very, very friendly with me, to be honest, uh, when everything started. He came with me and said, like, hey man, today I feel so happy for you, congrats for the, the bell, whatever. And in that point, everything was fine. There, uh, he started to ask me, uh, like, hey, but when is our fight? Like, in two months, three months, tell me right now. Like, like man, like, 
I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> you know? Uh, and then he started to, to, he started to look a little bit aggressive, to be honest. But man, uh, my only point was like, man, just let me enjoy today, man. Just uh, give me today. Just uh, let me have this moment with my, with my friends, with my training partners, with my wife, with my manager. And then we can make another circus and use social media and the trash talk if you want. I don't know. But just give me this moment. But what's my, my, my only point? Are you, are you tired already just coming from this uh, uh, trilogy with uh, Figueiredo and everything he was saying to you for all these years and now maybe Pantoja acting the same way for him? No, I, I, think, I think hopefully, I don't know, but I, I think with, with Pantoja will be, will be different. I think right now he's very excited because uh, and he's a little bit desperate to, to get the, the, the fight for the title because with... All this uh, rivalry with uh, Davidson Figueiredo, I mean, we start with 2020 and we finish in 2023, it's crazy. I understand the, the, older, challenge, the older challengers, but man, uh, I'm ready. Hopefully, I, nothing happened with my knee, I don't know, but I, I'll be ready in, in, in the moment when I feel it. Pantoja was on the post-fight show and he said he's not impressed that he beat you twice already. He's willing to fight you in Mexico if that was the, the UFC wants. Uh, do you want to fight in Mexico next or do you want to fight in the U.S.? What's, what's the, the ideal scenario for you? I think as a Mexican, uh, we deserve a, a, a pay-per-view again yeah. in Mexico City. Uh, right now, I think uh, we have an amazing position where Jair, Par Jair Rodriguez is fighting in February. Alexa Grasso is fighting in March. Uh, not, nothing is, is official yet, but uh, Irene Aldana sounds like a really clear possibility for Amanda. So I think this is the year for the, the, year for the Mexicans mm -hmm. in, in, you know, in, in mixed martial arts. So I'm excited and I, I, for sure I want to go there. A final one for me. Uh, what are, do you expect from Figueiredo fighting at Bento? He announced he's, he's done with flyweights, he's moving up to 35. Do you think he's good enough to, to win a belt there as well? Yeah, I, man, I, I said this before, he's, man, he's huge. <laughs> he's very, very huge. Um, obviously, it's not my, my decision. Uh, um, it's not part of my team. But I said this before, like, hey, man, like, maybe you can feel much better if you move to 135. Let, let's see what happens in the future. Because uh, the 135ers are huge, too. So let, let's see what happens with him.